Natsuhana Tarawa Channel. We would like to take you to the Philippines, a very beautiful country with crystal clear waters, white sandy beach, and very nice local people. Philippines is made from more than 7,600 islands, and there is absolutely no shortage to explore new things in, in the Philippines. So this time we have traveled to Cebu, to Oslo, Dumaguete, Tikal, and Manila. But first, please subscribe us and like our video. Today we would like to take you to Manila, the biggest city in the Philippines. Manila is the capital of Philippines and one of the busiest cities in Southeast Asia. Manila has a mixture of both European from Spanish colonial and Asia. Also known to have the biggest Chinatown in the world. We were there for only overnight and would like to show you what you can do to the day trip in Manila. There are direct flights to Manila. From Tokyo to Manila is about 4.5 hours and LA to Manila is about 13.5 hours. From international airport to the city is about 15 kilometers. Um, with taxi, it's about uh, 400 to 500 peso and takes about 20 minutes. Um, we use Grab for this time too. It's most most popular um, uh, taxi that you can use and you don't get ripped off. Uh, please be careful, there are taxis from airport which you get ripped off. So if you're using a normal taxi, please make sure that you're taking a meter taxi. In Manila, there is heavy heavy traffic so be sure to have some time to get to the hotel and schedule for the rest of the day. As you may guess, there's a lot of hotels to choose from in Manila. If you want to go for budget hotels, uh, the Bay Area is a recommended area. There's a lot of budgeted hotels and also five-star resorts are in the Bay Area. Um, if you want to go for mid-class, like four-star, uh, there's a business district which is called Makati. There you can find a lot of about four-star ranged uh, mid-class hotels. Unlike the rest of the islands in the Philippines, Manila has the most international food in the Philippines. They have a lot of fusion restaurants and this time we tried the Japanese fusion. So this, this is supposed to be agedashi tofu with um, flour tofu and um, in Japan it's a little, it's really light taste mm. but this one was like really heavy. Yes. I think they actually fried the tofu mm. and put a lot of sauce. This was the most interesting one of all. Mm. So that yeah, that's why we got it. It's a it's called the ramen burger. Uh, we usually eat ramen in a soup, but this is like pan fried pan fried. Mm. Yeah. It kind of tastes tasted like a Japanese pancake, you know the okonomiyaki. Hmm, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's more like a okonomiyaki more than a ramen. Mm. That's that, that was my thought. Ikko de onaka ippai desu. Yes. <laughs> Manila has one of the biggest Chinatown in the world, and. I actually didn't know that until we went there. If you like street foods, you must go there. It's a try. And there's also a Bay Area, which is um, very romantic. And you can also see the sunset there. There's a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants and hotels. It's one of the very touristy places. There's also spas. In Philippines, you can go from cheap spas to very luxurious spas. And this time we went to this uh, kind of luxurious spa. We went to Armish Wellness Spa, uh, which is actually a traditional Persian massage. Uh, but there they had Filipino uh, traditional 
massage. So we thought we would like to try that. We tried this uh, Filipino spa called, uh, it's called Pinoy Hiro Massage. Mm. But when we were actually getting the massage, like mm. I kind of felt like something different. Mm. And they, they started to do a different massage. Mm. <laughs> and, we, so, and we kind of noticed about halfway through. <laughs> and they just did this um, cupping, right? Was that cupping? Cupping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the end of the massage, we're like, where's the leaf? Where's the. <laughs> they used to do. They, they should have done this um, Filipino massage, which, is, which they use the banana leaves. Mm -hmm. But. And we were waiting for that until the end of massage. <laughs> but we couldn't, get, yeah, we, couldn't, we couldn't find the leaves on anywhere. <laughs> when you go there, you should check that um, there, there is enough banana leaves <laughs> to do your Filipino massage. Old Spanish Town is located in the south side of Manila City. And this whole town is built from very long time ago, the Spanish colonial. And there's so many beautiful architecture which is um, still remain from that time. There are many churches. So we went through a lot of uh, churches and museums. Mm -hmm. And every church we go, there was a wedding. <laughs> mm. um, and parties going on. And the place was so lively. We had fun just walking around the town. This <laughs> It's, it's very uh, usual cr crime in Manila. So don't bring too much pocket money and lose all your money. Number two. Hmm. No, you don't need to really wear fancy clothes as uh, Manila is very hot throughout the year. So you can just wear like clothes to anywhere. It's not, not many people wear like dresses. Unless you yeah. go for um, a five-star hotel, very decent restaurants. So just wear light clothes. And number three, prepare for adventurous rides. Mm. Um, like jeepney is our recommendation. Mm. I think uh, I think this is one of the Filipino cultural uh, rides. So you must try that. And also have just have fun. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed going to Manila with us. And next stop, we will go to Dumaguete and travel to Apple Island, where they have a lot of nature in this small volcanic island. So until then, see ya! Bye! Thank you for watching us. I hope you guys enjoy watching our video and hope you will give us a thumbs up. Please comment us your thoughts and also subscribe us here down below to watch more of our video. See you soon!